25 years ago. Sonia. Jonathan. What are we going to do? This, I suppose. But soon I must go home. But I don't want you a moment out of my sight. Come and live with me here, Sonia. Winter's coming and there's no heating. I don't see things like that. But I'm only being practical. It's very boring of you. I'm sorry. Your lips are lovelier when they don't speak. I was engaged to someone else, I may say. A young banker on his way to the top. He was at Coots. And I was a dancer with great potential. Star quality. Everyone said so. But I met Jonathan at a party one night. And he drove me down to his place in the country. Bolton Hall. Well, I didn't know what to expect. This house has been in our family for 300 years. My father sold it. On purpose, from sheer spite pretext that he needed money over my mother's head to a Texan millionaire who bought it and then forgot it. That's why it's in the state it is. My father had left my mother and run off with some singer, you see. And my father died of drink and sex. And I came into the title with just enough money to buy it back. Now, for the family honour and for my mother's sake, I mean to restore Bolton Hall, though it takes all my life, all my energy, every room, every beam, every step, every plant, back to what it was. Come and live with me here, Sonia. I don't know what to say. But I did. Yes, yes, yes. Sir Jonathan Sibley and me. A better bargain than the banker any day. Oh, the banker was awfully nice, but a bit piggy somehow. Not like Jonathan. Jonathan was wonderful. You have a soul, Sonia. Oh, I see it. Shining from your eyes, mysterious, wonderful. I want you to share the vision with me and the hope and the future in your skin so soft. But what about my fiancé? You don't love him. You love me. But do you love me? Of course. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't ask you to live with me. I have my pride, Sonia. You have such delicate little hands, but so strong. I love the touch of them. Dancers have to be strong. I know. And such stamina always. And not afraid of heights, usually. Of heights? It's the training in balance. A lot of my life at the moment is spent up ladders. I wish I'd had such a training. If only it wasn't so cold. I do feel the cold. Darling, I'll have the windows in in no time. I haven't put them in because I don't feel the cold. Besides, there's so much else to be getting on with, but for love of you, I'll do anything. Anything. Darling. I knew I was right. You're so good at this sort of thing, Sonia. My heart's in the right place. I, I want to do it, but compared with you, I'm just butterfingers. Jonathan, next Monday I, I do have to get back to London for an audition. It's the Royal Ballet. But on Monday we're going to start on the lead mouldings. We mustn't fall behind. My mother's coming in only four weeks. At the... I do want her to be impressed. It's quite tricky. But darling, what about my career? You don't want to go waving your legs in the air and standing on tippy toes for a whole lot of men to ogle. It isn't like that. The dance is all about beauty and art. Darling, it's for children who are frightened of sex and passion and commitment. I want you to live with me here at Bolton Hall forever. You mean you want to marry me? <sighs> Don't be so boring, Sonia. No one sensible believes in marriage anymore. People are much happier without that stupid scrap of paper. Look what happened to my father and mother. I shall never marry, Sonia. Don't ask me to. We're just two people forever and gloriously in love. I didn't want to go to the stupid audition. 
I just thought I ought. Do you get the picture? Yes, I get the picture. A common enough story. Woman gives up everything for man, man lets her down. You agree? He was to blame. Women shouldn't just hand over their lives on a plate to men. What can men do but accept the dish? Courtesy requires it. Can you blame men for women's folly? What was that clicking noise? Russian roulette. What? One chance in six, or... Or did I put two in? I... I can't remember. What was that I can't hear? It doesn't matter. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Love is the most important thing in a woman's life. What do they say? Love, tis a woman's whole existence. For man, tis a thing apart. In that case, I'm a man. Would you care to say that again? Sorry. <laughs> I was just being smart alecky. I am sure you're right. I accept your apology. I don't want your views, I just want your verdict. Mad. What did you say? Nothing. Good. Because there they both sit outside. Sir Jonathan and Lady Sibley. Waiting for their 11am and yoga. Oh, I know. I've looked on their sheets, they're down for yoga. But only one of them is going to go. Because the other one will be dead. This woman should be in Hollywood. She'd make a wonderful director. Couldn't you take this stuff off my eyes? I'm sure it's taken beautifully. You must stay where you are. Sure, sure. And the years rolled by. Of course, his mother was charm itself. You do it so beautifully, Sonia. Jonathan's such a lucky boy to have you. He doesn't deserve you. Your arms don't get tired. They do a little. Out of training. So long since I did any dancing. I do think ballet is a wonderful training for real life. Both my daughters did lessons. Oh, I went to ballet school for five years. Didn't that rather develop the leg muscles? Well, not at the time. It's just if you stop suddenly, they turn to fat. <laughs> Aren't you rather cold? Yes. Central heating is so bad for old family. Mm, so Jonathan says. You must love him very much. Oh, I do. Oh, Jonathan, still no table. Do you have to eat off the floor? I am not going to spend time or money on tables. <laughs> Darling, everyone has tables. When the house is finished, then we will have time and money for tables, chairs and cups with saucers. But not central heating, because of the paneling. No, but Sonia and I have our love to keep us warm. She and I will be married the minute the West Wind's restored, and the hangings of Queen Caroline's bedroom have been re-sewn by Sonia's nimble fingers. And you shall live there happily ever after, Mama, where you were meant to be. But until then, no complaints. Let's drink to work first. And happiness later. Happiness later. Mm. What sort of a wine is this? Nettle, past years. Isn't gathering it rather hard on the hands? Yes. <laughs> Jonathan, you get away with too much. Never mind. The house is looking wonderful. Almost like old times before your father left with his vulgar little dancer. Singer, mother. Bonjour. So long ago, I forget, thank heaven. I do look forward to the West Wing, darling. I shall be quite a frequent visitor, I'm sure, but you know, I'm not as young as I was, and my nice little service flat suits me very well. 
And if you two are married, won't I be in the way? I remember you as a little boy, darling, swearing you'd never marry anyone but me. <laughs> Such a funny little thing you were. It's just an idea. Sonia's rather keen, but there's no hurry. Probably best not. Marriage means children, doesn't it? And this family is just riddled with insanity. Well, there's lots of time. We'll wait until the house is done. No point in rushing things. <laughs> it's wicked, isn't it, to take away a young woman's life like that? Wicked! Yes, of course it is. 